A narrow street, devoid of traffic, and only two rows of old wooden shop houses. This is Siniawan, with a history back dating to the 1840s. It all started when a group of hacker Chinese from West Kalimantan migrated here in search for gold in the nearby mines. This led to the growth of farm produce and birds nest industry in Siniawan. Located strategically along the Sarawak River, where boats stopped by frequently, Siniawan was the home for some 300 Chinese traders, with its own casino, opium den, hotels and entertainment outlets. However, in 1850, James Brook implemented a new law to collect more tax, which caused the miners and traders to launch an attack on Brook's mansion in Kuching. A war broke out, and the miners and the traders moved back to West Kalimantan. And, Siniawan became an empty ghost town. In the 1870s, things took a turn. A new group of hacker Chinese from China came to Siniawan and rebuilt the town. These wooden shop house that we see today in Siniawan is said to be built by the second wave of hacker Chinese immigrants in 1910. What's a Chinatown without a temple? This is Shui Yugong, a Chinese temple dedicated to the goddess, Guanyin. Built in 1886, the temple is well preserved and boasts beautiful rich Chinese traditional architecture. In an attempt to keep its tradition and culture, in 2009 the Siniawan Heritage Conservation Committee was formed. The focus was to restore the town's glory to its good old days. The committee worked on resorting the old buildings and bringing back the old Hakka street food. Today, Siniawan is back on track and is becoming one of the top tourist attractions in Kuching and Sarawak.